Hey there, it's Chrissy K. Rollins bringing you Watch This Wednesday where I share a bite-sized little mindset shift to help you shift your perspective. Because what I have found for myself is that when I change the way that I look at the things around me, the things that I look at around me often change. And when I went about this in the other way where I tried to change the things around me without changing the way that I was looking at them first, I found that to be a much more challenging endeavor. So I love to share these bite-sized little insights and perspective shifts as an opportunity and invitation for you to try on for yourself. Do not take my word for it, but take it back into your life, test it out and see for yourself. Did this help you? Did it? Did you feel less anxiety? Did you feel less overwhelmed? Was it easier to make choices that were alignment with what you uh, really are most committed to in life? In the past few videos, I have been talking about relationships because the time is ripe right now for relationships to either evolve or to dissolve. So what does that mean on the day-to-day -day, uh, life experience level? What that means is that what you are likely experiencing in your life is a heightened state of anxiety, depression, overwhelm, disruption in relationships. I've talked about relationship with my daughter. I've talked about relationship with my, my significant other. I have talked about relationships with just the general public. I've talked about relationships every video for the last few weeks. So if this is a hot topic for you, make sure you hop over and check out those videos as well. But today I want to talk specifically about the overwhelm, the anxiety, the depression that goes along with these shifts that are happening in our relationships. And actually I'm going to get a little bit more in depth next Wednesday, which is July the 25th fifth at the time of this recording. Uh, I'm going to be doing hosting a leadership luncheon in the Clayton area, which we are actually live streaming for the first time. So if you're interested in joining this conversation next week and you're not here local, you can still plug in. So um, comment, reach out to me if you're interested in those details. But what we're going to be talking about is the toxic relation shift and to understand what is happening in our relationships and all this overwhelm and anxiety and emotional roller coaster that can come, the emotional upheaval that can happen when we are facing a challenge in our relationships. So we're gonna talk about that, how to, how to handle toxic people, how to handle toxic think, thinking within yourself and how to thrive when you find yourself in a toxic environment. So I might talk about that a little bit more next week for the little bite-sized video, but definitely join that conversation if you're interested in going in depth with with it. However, if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling depressed, if you feel like everybody is turning against you, is not understanding you, is accusing you of things, is getting stuff off their chest, but it feels very, very personal and like an attack, if you feel like this is happening, now this can happen again, co-worker relationship, um, interpersonal relationships, family relationships, maybe even just business client partnerships, all kinds of relationships are, are, are having this upheaval that is happening right now. And I want to speak directly to this so you can better understand your role in all of it. Now, what other people do is like their business, their responsibility. How you feel about what other people are doing, <laughs> now that is something to pay attention to. Because if you notice, people don't walk into a room and dump a bucket of emotion on you. No, nope. they walk into the room, express themselves however they feel called to express themselves, and then you have emotions coming up from within you. And this is why this is happening right now. It is not a personal attack against you. It is not your loved ones out to get you. It is not anybody trying to tear you down, trying to take you out. You know, there might be some rare exceptions where people are intentionally coming at you in a harmful way. And first and foremost, always make sure that you are safe because your safety is number one priority. But what I'm talking about is more the, the verbal attacks, more the verbal expressions that bring overwhelm, the misunderstandings and misinterpretations and what somebody else's actions look like, or the bubbling forth of stuff that's been held back and suppressed that hasn't been said, that hasn't been expressed within a relationship. It is time right now, and I got the chills just thinking about it. It is time right now to free yourself of this, to clear it from your energy field, from within you, from your thought process, from the way that you self-identify. So all of this is happening to you for a reflection 
refinement, for an evolution, and ultimately for resolution. Resolution within yourself, resolution within the relationship, resolution within your life. This is what you've been praying for. This is what you've been asking for. Sorry it's not coming in a more pleasant package. It doesn't very often come in a more pleasant package, but it comes in the exact package that you need to receive. So if what life is presenting you in the present moment, note the word present because it is a gift. If what is being presented to you in the present moment does not appear to be a gift, just like all great gifts, you might need to unwrap it first. Take off the covering of what it looks like on the outside and get connected to what is truly on the inside. And what you'll find on the inside 100% of the time, or at least I have found 100% of the time, is that whatever feeling is coming up inside of me, the opportunity presented in front of me is giving me an opportunity to face that, to clear it, to reconcile, not just with the other person, but within myself, what I know to be true, how I view myself, how I relate to myself, and to get honest with myself. And if you think that this is happening to convince others who you are, you're gonna spend a lot of time, frustration, energy, and probably get very little, if any, results that align with what you truly desire. So my thought for you today is to think about that as you move forward. Think about those relationships that are happening in your life that are causing the turmoil, the overwhelm, the anxiety. Ask yourself, what is it that I am feeling? And what is it that I am believing about myself or seeing could be seen about myself whenever I feel these emotions coming up or look at it from the perspective that I'm looking at? Whatever that thing is. For me, a couple videos back, I shared about how I was feeling overwhelmed in parenting and how in those moments where my daughter just won't listen and do what it is that I really desire for her to do, I realized the reason I get so frustrated is because I'm afraid I'm not a good parent and that's the way she's acting out. A little societal conditioning that I got to clear out of my mind about what a good parent is and how we know what a good parent is. So when that comes forward, it's just an opportunity for me to remind myself I'm an amazing mom. Do I get it right all the time? Heck no. But do I intend to? Do I aim for that? Absolutely. 100% of the time. So maybe this is just unfolding so that I can evoke this feeling, so that I can clear it out of my consciousness, so that I can deepen into my subconscious the now conscious belief and knowingness that I have of myself that I'm doing the best that I can in any given moment and that whatever I bring to the table is absolutely enough. So I want to know what's happening in your relationships how are you handling the overwhelm and anxiety? And what resolution are you finding when you explore things from this direction? So try this out, give me some feedback. I wanna know how do you handle this in your own life and how do these methods that I share with you today, how does that help you uh, further resolve, take some of that stress and anxiety off your shoulders or just help you to make sense of this seemingly senseless stuff that's happening in our relationships around, around you. So if you are one of the ones that have been anxiety ridden, overwhelmed, depression prone, just know I am with you. I am with you, I feel you. This is not all for nothing. You have got this. This is your healing. This is what you have been asking for. This is everything that's on its way out of your life. So let it go, baby. Let it go. Don't force it. Just sit with it. Just feel it. Don't feel like you gotta do anything or take any action until it feels right to you. But just remember, all through all of it, remember to love the one who's feeling it all, which is you, baby. And no matter what you're feeling, no matter what you're doing, no matter how you're showing up or hiding in life, you always deserve more love, not less. Thank you, Matt Kahn, for that little piece of wisdom. And uh, join back here next week. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out some other videos. If you like this one, share it with your friends and family. I'd love to get this conversation going and bring as many people into the conversation that want to join. So let me know below. Leave me some comments and I will see you back next week. All right, bye and hang in there. You're doing amazing. You are remarkable. The fact that you even desire to be a better person, <laughs> you're amazing, amazing. Embrace that, don't forget it. No matter what these crazy rascals around you do, say, throw your way. You got this. I'll see you next week.